Today we're going to learn about monoprinting technique using ink and a styrofoam plate. The first thing we need to do is put our ink on our surface. This can be done either in a tray or on the table. Miss Elaine doesn't like cleaning tables, so we're doing this in a tray today. And we're using a wet roller to roll out the ink. You want your ink to be tacky, but not too gooey, so that it's not going to be too thick on your plate. As you can see, I'm rolling it vertically, then horizontally to ensure the ink is spread out evenly across the surface. Okay. The reason we do more than one print is because the consistency of the ink will change the more that we print. So let's see what happens. I'm going to leave my inky roller just to the side so that I don't get my table dirty and I will put in my plate. Okay, so the plate design is going to go face down into the ink. And we'll just press it there. Then I'm going to take a clean, dry roller and I'm going to evenly press across the surface of the plate to ensure the ink is dispersed across the surface. I'm trying very hard to not get this in the ink so I don't have to clean it next time. Okay, making very whoops, careful attention to the corners. Now, as you can see, I've made a mistake, so I'll put that aside and I'll clean it later. Once you think that the ink has been across the entire plate, very carefully lift up from the corners to loosen, not break. And unpeel your plate very carefully. Okay. You'll want to inspect your plate just to make sure that there's nowhere else that's missing ink. If so, you can take a paintbrush, you can take your finger, just pop it on where you're missing it. And then we'll move over to our surface. So you may want to tile your prints to make a pattern or print them separately, as you can see. I've got one here that I've done already. And I'll place this one just a bit under it with a nice little margin to create a series. So I'll gently push it down, then take my clean roller and again repeat the process of pushing down onto the plate with just a bit more pressure to squeeze the ink onto the paper. Again, make sure you get the corners so that you get very crisp, clean edges. Try not to get your paper dirty as I've done. Okay. I think we're ready for the gray unveil. Again, very carefully lifting up the corners. So these plates that we're using are made out of styrofoam or polystyrene. They don't last very long, but we want to be as careful as possible to ensure we can get as many prints as we can. So if we take a closer look at my second print, you can see that the ink has been much more evenly dispersed throughout the plate and the image is much darker. I have nice, clean, crisp corners and the edges are well defined.